Hi everyone, it's Simon Keeling here at weatherweb.net. Thanks again for watching. It's Saturday the 20th of December. Goodness me, the big day is coming around very quickly, isn't it? We're getting mixed signals from the models as to how cold it may well become after Christmas. Some going for cold, others going for a warm southwesterly. So the uh, difficulty at the moment is deciding on which one of those is probably going to become true. This is the latest CFS uh, forecast for the next 45 days. Now, of course, as always with the CFS, you've got to take it with a pinch of salt, but it's useful just to get some sort of guidance from what it's saying and you see here it's the red colours we're interested in that's temperature and you can see here look how it's just on that downward spiral through Christmas and into New Year before picking up around the 12th, 13th, 14th of January that's basically exactly what our longer range forecasts were saying now now the JMA forecast, the Japanese Met Agency forecast, has been released. This is the forecast for week one up to the 25th of December, so up to Thursday. And you can see what it's trying to do here is it's got the uh, low the normal heights towards the north, higher the normal down towards the south, brings a jet through the country during this week on a west to west northwesterly. So basically it's keeping the south in milder southwesterly winds, the north in colder north to northwesterly winds. Now week two... So from the 26th up to the 1st of January, um, that's showing us, look, with a big ridge built out towards the west, trough off towards the east, it tries to bring in this cold northwesterly flow during that week after Christmas. So it's going for the cold weather, similar to the CFS. And then it does this for weeks three and four. So this is going from the 2nd of January through until the 15th of January and what this one then does look is it brings the trough back into that ridge it isn't particularly long lasting but it pulls the jet further south so it tries to get us back into the cooler flow that we've already seen cross polar flow across the uh, pole bringing more of an easterly here but generally across the UK it's westerlies but they're cool westerlies so we kind of go back into the pattern that we've been in according to this now don't forget this is the mean for those two weeks so what we think from this pattern is that we will go into the cold and northerly flow uh, through the new year period into the first week of the new year and then probably go into this more dominant westerly flow. However, we still think it's going to be the 10th before we get back into that westerly flow. But I have to say much, much, much confusion over this at the moment between the various models. And the one thing we can be certain of is there'll be much toing and froing uh, until we firm up on this cold weather idea. It may well be Tuesday, even Christmas Eve, I think, before we can pin it down at all. But for now, thanks again for watching. Don't forget you can subscribe to us via YouTube to get notification of the latest updates as they go online. Or just keep coming back to the website and we have all the updates on there for you. But for now, whatever you're doing, have a great day. Thanks again for watching and keep the sun shining. Bye for now.